YouTube, what's going on? Andrew Darling here. Hey guys, I haven't been doing uh, too many videos lately. I've been busy. I am in uh, Virginia, well, right by DC, basically doing some training for my real job. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a quick um, initial thoughts uh, about the new LG G3. Um, one of my favorite things about it, though, too, is the uh, the lock screen with the weather. As you can tell here, it's kind of uh, cloudy out, so you get to see the weather there in it. Um, in the lock screen, which is a pretty cool feature. So I've had the phone for a week now. Um, I've been using it as my, my primary device for a full six days, um, give or take a couple hours or so. So what are the pros? Now, the screen on this device is truly, truly phenomenal. If you can get it uh, to stay bright enough. So if you brighten it up, and obviously it takes a little second to, to focus in here, but I mean, if you really, truly I'm trying to get it so it'll focus, which, see if I can make this work. There we go. All right, so as you can see there, um, you're, you're, you're pretty good, um, brightness-wise. The screen is phenomenal, really, really good. The design, the feel, the whole build quality of the device, um, very solid, and I apologize for the glare. I'm doing this in my motel room. So on the back of the device, obviously, you know the, the button layout that we have, uh, LG has, it's become kind of their staple, it's what they do. So the button layout, I really like it, it's convenient, when you have the phone next to your face, it's easy to adjust the volume, it, it's, it's just a very solid experience overall. The navigation buttons, um, which I was showing you just a moment ago, is are, uh, are really cool. What they do is they're standard soft keys, but you can change them around. So just like in CyanogenMod, uh, you can change them around. You go into settings. Let me see him do this with you. Settings, display, home touch buttons. And if I can get it to focus in, it won't. The screen's way too bright. So, but if you look here at the bottom, you can tell I have five of them. So what this icon here does is brings down the navigation shade. So for those of you who are actually like me and you don't necessarily prefer a five and a half inch or 5.5 inch um, display because you don't feel like making that uncomfortable reach all the way to the top to drag down. This feature is great. Um, that's just me. I, I love it. Like I said, along with the button placement, the, the LG logo, the ad, I mean, it's, it's a very solid ad. I haven't gotten too many cards here on, on LG's uh, thing. Let me see if I can get you zoomed in here. Okay. So, We'll get you here. All right, the card um, system that uh, LG uses. So I haven't gotten too many of them, but I mean, that's not too bad of a, a situation. It's just I hadn't gotten too many of them. Mostly just advice on how to do something. Really cool widget. Um, I'll just flash it real quick. You can see the photos. Um, and that's favorite contacts. It's a really nice widget. It's adjustable, of course, like all the widgets are. Uh, very solid feature. So what are some of the cons of the G3? The auto screen brightness, it has moments where it's great and it's exactly as bright as you want something to be. And it has moments where it's terrible. It's way off. It's too dark. It's too bright. There's something with the, the, the way that LG does the auto brightness. It's just hit or miss. Um, sometimes you can just put your phone on 50% and that'll be better than leaving it on auto brightness. So that's one of the cons. The camera is the same way as the auto brightness. It's hit or miss. You can take a phenomenal photo in good light or you can have kind of low light and take a terrible photo. Part of it is when you review the photo, if the screen brightness isn't right, you don't know the quality of the photo you took. So that kind of goes hand in hand. Overall, I'm very, very impressed with this device. Um, I'm excited to have it. I actually think this is gonna be my, my daily driver for a long time to come. And I normally, I don't think I've said that. I said that about the Nexus 5 before I had it. And then I got it and I was like, yeah, no. So battery life has been uh, solid. Usually I'm getting about four hours of screen on time, which is about what I got with the G2 back when I had that. So four hours of screen on time is pretty solid, um, but it's it's also kind of hit or miss. It stays at 100% for, for a really long time, um, which is just the way they calculate battery is different than say the Galaxy S5, which doesn't stay at 100% very long. It, it drops faster, um, not because of the battery size, but the way Samsung chooses to display battery percentage. LG chooses to have it stay at 100% longer to, I guess, make it appear fuller or however they want to do it. But it's a, it's a really cool thing. 
Um, overall, I haven't had too many problems with the phone at all. Getting used to the size of the phone has been the, the biggest issue for me, but really hadn't been too terrible of an issue. So those are my initial thoughts um, about the G3. Um, I have the T-Mobile version here in the States. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you have the G3? Did you go get it? Do you like it? Are you thinking about it? What's a deal breaker for you? Um, I'll do my best to get back to you. I've been getting back to everybody's comments. It might not be the same day, but I've been getting back to everybody's comments. So leave me a comment below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, do all that cool stuff. Um, these are my thoughts on the LG G3 uh, smartphone. Uh, I think LG hit it out of the park. Those are my initial thoughts. I got some more uh, hardcore review stuff to do. I have some other things going on. I do want to get more Surface Pro stuff up, but this is the LG G3. And again, YouTube, this is Andrew Darling. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. I'm tired. I've been up all day, but that's okay. I'm here for y'all. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.